In this video, we will learn how to use RStudio online in order to run RStudio codes and also upload the data. So the first thing you want to do, you want to locate RStudio online. And of course, there are different versions, but I would like to use the native uh, RStudio cloud, which is now called Posit Cloud. And if you click on this Posit Cloud, uh, you can find a free plan. And for beginners, it's sufficient. You just click on our plans. Then uh, as a beginner, you can run 25 hours. That it's more than enough. And you can have one gigabyte of data. So you click learn more and then you click sign up. Here you can sign up with your Google account. Just pick one of your Google accounts. So after that, you will see the window like that, like here. And what you can do here, you can just start a new project new RStudio project here in the right part of this window. And while it uploads uh, this new project, uh, I have created a folder uh, on my computer uh, with two files. One file it's a code uh, for RStudio and the second file it's a code with data. So first thing I want to do, I want to upload them to Posit Cloud. And after that I can manipulate and I can work on those in the cloud without installing RStudio on my computer, which is kind of efficient because I can use it from a different computer easily. So now you see windows like that and there is a button called upload here in the right part of this window. And then you choose file. So you don't choose the top option for browse, but you choose this option for file. And uh, I show it to my desktop where I have my folder with the data and our code and I select the file. First I upload the code and then you can of course use this option of uh, zipping a file if you want, if you have many of those and then you can unzip, unzip them after upload. But I have just two files so it's enough if I just do it one by one. So now click on train and now it's all online, right? So it's in my posit cloud uh, in my new project workspace. I have a code and I have a train data set, right? So now I can start working in the cloud without installing it. I click twice on code one R studio and it opens this file. Again, it's a very simple file here just to get started with R studio. And what I want to do here, first I want to upload the data. I do it through file and then I choose import data set. And then I choose a second option from text reader because I'm working with a comma separated value uh, CSV file here. Now it asks me to install some additional packages, so it's it's fine, I can do it. Now it points out to file URL where I can pick it. And again, it's stored uh, here in the cloud. I click browse, I choose train CSV, and I can see that, uh, you know, the first row is marked as names. It's important, right, because it's a traditional data set for houses in Ames. Uh, which is used for data analytics uh, and uh, we have like 80 features or covariates and we have a few thousand of the houses. So I now I click import and it opens up this file in here and it's loaded here. It's called train. Uh, what I can do next here, I can click on history and you see that uh, the command which I used train read CSV, uh, you can copy and paste it in here. I just need to replace this read CSV with underscore because it's uh, use the library and I also need to click on this library reader so that click on it twice. Now it appears here in the console uh, so I can copy it from here and uh, I can put it here in front of my uh, code and next time I rerun it it will load the library and I can use it. And of course, remember that when you use a new library, I have first to install it, right? But we have installed library when we run this code for the first time. So let's cut, let's check a couple of things for this data set. So let me first look at the dimensions of the data set. So I have 1460 uh, houses. I have 81 characteristics. I can look at the data uh, sort of head of the data. So here are some uh, six first lines of the data, uh, what's included, what type of data I'm dealing with, right? So for example, lot area, it's obviously a double, uh, street, 
uh, next to the house it's some character paved here uh, and I can work with this data later and I can also look at the names of the variables in my data set so again to run something uh, you highlight it with uh, the help of shift right and then you either click this button run uh, or you just type control enter uh, and it will run the code uh, which you have highlighted so I click on this run and you see I have the whole full list of names of my variables. I can also look for specific uh, statistics. So here I want to check what is the mean, mean, mean sale price. I highlight this line, click again Ctrl Enter. And again, if you are starting working with RStudio, remember that first it's the name of your data set. So in our case, it's train. Then you have a dollar sign. Uh, to separate a name of the variable and then I refer to the variable sale price, right? So it's a convention which we use in RStudio when we refer to uh, different variables in data sets. And I can do something more interesting. I can look, for example, at the quantiles. Uh, so again, these are all built-in functions in RStudio. So again, I highlight and do Ctrl Enter and I obtain the information that uh, the cheapest house it's under $35,000 and the most expensive it's almost uh, $700,000, like very expensive house. And finally uh, I can plot a box plot uh, and if I click again run here you can see a screen here uh, and uh, like you have some clear outliers here right which are outside of uh, the three standard deviations of the mean price and uh, you know we have to do something about modeling it. So as you could see from this simple code you can easily run RStudio code online using a free option of Posit Cloud uh, and you can extend this code, you can load new data sets and it's convenient because you don't have to install it on your computer and you can just run it from anywhere. Thank you and see you in the following videos.